All right, today we're talking about the geometric probability distribution. Uh, so I figured it would be nice to jump straight into an example for this one. Uh, so let's say you're rolling a six-sided die and you want to know the probability of rolling a three. So our p is going to be one over six similar with a binomial distribution. This is the probability of rolling a three. Every time we roll the die, we have a one in six chance of rolling a three. Uh, we can talk about Q here, um, and we can talk about our X. X is the number of trials until we get a success. So when we talk about the geometric probability distribution, we're really focused on how long does it take to get a success. If I'm rolling a die, how many times am I going to have to roll this die until I finally get a 3? So for the sake of discussion, let's say I roll a die four times on the fourth trial, the first uh, event, fourth event, I manage to roll a 3. So maybe I roll it, first time I get a 1, darn, that's not a success. Second time I roll it, I get a 6, also not a success. Third time I roll it, I get a five, also not a success. Fourth time I roll it, finally have a success, I roll exactly a three. Uh, and then I wonder, hey, is this a, an unusual event? Is it out of the normal? Is it unusual for me to successfully uh, roll a three in my fourth event? Is it unusual for me to get a success in my fourth event when my probability is one out of six. So here's what we need to know. Uh, here we have the geometric probability distribution which is set up to answer this kind of question. Uh, what's the likelihood of getting a success in our fourth trial, fifth trial, sixth trial? Uh, and we also have here the formula for our mean, and we have here the formula for the variance, and we can find the standard deviation by taking the square root of this. So P is the probability uh, of an S outcome. So here in our example, we're rolling the die. The probability of success would be 1 out of 6, so our P is 1 out of 6. And X is the number of trials until the first S, uh, the first success is observed. So uh, we could, let's talk about the mean for a second. So the mean here would be 1 over 1 sixth. If you remember your rules about dividing by fractions, you know that that would then B6, second fraction, don't be shy, flip yourself and multiply. Uh, so if you think about the mean as, say, flipping a coin, uh, you would think it's probably going to take you two flips to flip heads, or two flips to flip tails. Uh, rolling a, a, a die, you'd expect to get uh, a 4 or a 3 or a 2 by the 6 uh, roll. So basically, the mean here with a geometric probability distribution is just taking the probability and flipping it over to get the number of times it's going to take until you get a success. Uh, your standard deviation here, you're going to take the square root. You're going to do uh, 1 minus p, or you could also think of this as your q, which would be 1 6, uh, divided by 1 6 squared. Bang. So you have a standard deviation here of about 5.477, uh, uh, which is kind of large. So uh, within one uh, standard deviation, uh, you're going to get an interval of uh, roughly 1 to 11. So you're expecting to get that 4 
uh, between your first and eleventh trial. So yeah, that's something. Uh, okay, so let's actually calculate a probability. How unusual for it? How unusual is it for me to roll a three in my fourth trial? So to talk about this, we're going to go to our distro list and we're going to pull up the GeoMet PDF. And I'm going to enter first my probability and then second my X, my uh, number of trial, my, my trial number where I finally had a success. Uh, and you can see that uh, you would expect to have a success in the fourth trial about 9.6% uh, of the time, less than 10% of the time. Uh, so not crazy unusual, uh, but uh, a little unusual, 10%, that's unusual. Uh, so let's highlight that here. That was GeoMet. PDF, and I typed in P, comma, X. So uh, with your binomial distribution, you had to type in uh, N, P, X. Here you just type in P, comma, X. Uh, and depending on what calculator you use, uh, the way you enter this in might look slightly different. Uh, but here's how it looks here. Uh, so Maybe another question I'd want to ask here is, uh, what is the likelihood of me rolling a 3 within 4 rolls? So maybe in my first roll, my second roll, my third roll, or my fourth roll, I succeed in rolling a 3. Maybe I'm playing a board game. Maybe I'm playing Snakes and Ladders. I'm at the very end. Uh, I need to get exactly a three uh, to win the game. And I can tell that it's going to take at least four moves for my opponent to catch up with me. Uh, what's the likelihood of success? What's the likelihood of me rolling a three within the next four rolls? So that would be the kind of situation where you want to pull out the cumulative distribution and you can see about 50% of the time, just over 50%, uh, you would roll uh, a 3 uh, within your fourth roll. You would have a success by the end of your fourth roll. So uh, that is, those are the highlights uh, for the geometric probability distribution.